it's the Gamer Scrooge on the TV show. Thank you. This game right here is no different than going to a doctor in these modern times. When I was younger, you went to a doctor and you were cured. Now, just like Dr. Mario, who somehow became a doctor, doctors, they just throw pills at you, left and right, willy and nilly, and they see what happens. They don't fucking know what's gonna happen. You know, I go in with a sore throat and breathing trouble. Next thing you know, I'm taking a pill and I got tits. Not convenient, not ideal. Just like Dr. Mario, my doctor. Well, uh, you know, he didn't he didn't clear that stage. <laughs> the the boobies are, are pretty much gone. Well, the water aerobics helps with that, I tell you. Goddamn water aerobics. You know what else bothers me about this game? The music. Listen to the music. Now this damn song's gonna be stuck in all our heads for the rest of the week. Welcome to the Game of Scrooge on the TV show. It's gonna be the last. For a little while at least. I don't know how long. We'll get to that a little bit later in the program. Because, well, I certainly don't have much plan for this one. You know, Todd. You know Todd, my male nurse. He said, GS, you gotta do a show. It's showtime today. Get in that makeup chair. Make yourself look pretty. You know, I just wanna play doctor. I wanna play doctor. Turns out, I'm really good at this game. This is my game. This is my jam. I could play this until my meds wear off. It's so good. But enough about me. The last two months on the Twitters and the Instagram, I've been a little busy. You all know, I've been selling some games. You know, I've been clearing room for the new batch of games. Since that ghost has been dormant, who knows what happened to him? The priest man came, or I mean the Ghostbusters, sorry. They came and they, they, they got rid of him. But I've been getting rid of some games. He's got too many goddamn video games and computer games. Why does he need so many? He has doubles. Get this, two, two of some games. It's hoarding. I don't like hoarding. I've been over this. I've written about it. I'm a poet, writer man on the Instagram. That's where people read my, my, my musings, if you will. So I've been throwing them out. So here's a little montage. Here's a little footage of my work. Yep, for the last two months. And thank you to everyone who bought the games. I had Todd scribble on a little markings. You know, it's from my heart, from Todd's head. All right, play the footage. <laughs>
cluttered shelf is a clear sign of a cluttered mind. As you saw, there's a lot less clutter. I could certainly breathe a whole lot easier now in this in this game room. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. All those games went. You know, they're in a better place right now. Trust me on that one. And speaking of being in a better place, Todd, my nurse, is going on a little vacation. He can't deal with me 56 weeks of the year or whatever there is. I don't care. Who cares? He can't deal with me, he said, all year round. He says I'm a lot of work. He says my nuts, you know, they're, they're distended a bit. So there's more scrubbing than usual. I don't even know what he's talking about. They're normal. You don't discriminate on men's ball sacks, okay, Todd? I know you're listening. Anyway, he's sending me on a little seniors retreat. Yeah, your pal, Gamer Scrooge, is going to be on a bus all the way to the Okanagan for who knows how long. They call it a trip to hell. Because, well, face it, let's face it, some of us don't come back. And Todd knows that. Todd wouldn't bat an eyebrow if I didn't come back. The show isn't as successful as Todd wants it. He thought I was his gravy train to start him. He thought, oh, I'll put the old man. He knows something about video games because that ghost has been teaching him for a little bit. I say, not teaching, harassing. He's been harassing me for a little bit. Forcing this knowledge of video com computer game knowledge onto my life. I had a nice little life thinking the Atari was the greatest console machine on the planet. Whatever, what can I do? So, this will be the last show for a little while. I don't know how long. Maybe I don't even come back. But you know what, goddammit, I'm a fighter. I survived WW2. I survived countless Taco Tuesdays. I'm still here, rambling on on the TVs. You can't take me off the TVs. Now that game was screwed just on the TVs. He's not leaving the TVs without a goddamn fight. And you better believe I'm a fighter. As long as I got my marijuana cannabis and ale in a can, I'll be fighting. Because I'm off the pills. No more titties for this old man. Straight up pecs with hard nipples. All that. So what? My nuts droop a little. That's normal. Talk to me when you're my age. Oh, hear that? No. No, can't be. Oh, it's me, it's me, the GOGP and Gamer Scrooge. It looks like you've been a bad old ass man. Oh. Where the oh. hell did all no. my games go? No. And you've been in charge of the Instagram account? Let me guess, you lost 600 followers? That's got to be some sort of record. You've been in charge for what, two months? Give me a goddamn break. Well, I'm just gonna have to use my ghostly powers and reverse this whole damn thing. Here we go. right you thought that was cool well take a look at this all I need to do is snap my fingers and this all goes away no oh it was all a dream thank you thank you Jesus it was all a dream oh 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 I put my pants I put my pants, and I kind of feel like playing some Dr. Mario. What? You hear that? It can't be. Now all the gamer ladies are clawing at the door. The 
before you break on through Just know that nothing's going down Cause when I ask the doctor for CLs He says no with a frown That gaming's all I got I'm gonna teach you how to play All the stuff like Atari To Donkey Kong Country I just discovered Sega So we'll also learn together so let's create some happy times before they send me back to the home. Yeah, it's the Gamer Scrooge on the TV show. Thank you. Yeah, I forgot to snap.